All right, check out our new sponsor, Greenwood Stocks. They want you to know how to be able to trade stocks and be your own boss and be free to travel the world by making passive income. We all need that passive income from stock market. What are you waiting for? Call the text 281-760-3170. If you didn't catch that, that's on your screen. Or check them out at social media, Greenwood Stocks, and catch them at Gmail, Greenwood Stock Trading at Gmail, and the YouTube channel is Greenwood Stocks. Appreciate them for giving me the opportunity. Check them out. We out. All right, man, we here, man. Let's talk about FN Jabe taking on Frank Sanchez. I do appreciate everybody uh, for tapping in. Make sure you check out the fight, re fight reaction in the heavyweight playlist, okay? So we had FN Jabe losing the unanimous decision to Frank Sanchez, which they robbed FN Jabe of a knockdown and a disqualification, if we being real, okay? Um, Frank Sanchez was the better fighter, so the better man actually did win. But when the commission said they looked at the replay and they had a replay in Nevada, they looked at the replay and they said it wasn't no, uh, you know, it wasn't no uh, knockdown. It, his knee wasn't down when Frank Sanchez hit him. That was some bullshit. Everybody see his knee was down. Remember, they had replay. They had replay in Las Vegas. So to me, that was some bullshit, man. And if it was robbed of a of a DQ, and also it was robbed of a knockdown. He drops Frank Sanchez and they ain't call it, but I mean, what you expect when you uh, what you expect when you uh, on the Al Heyman card and you left Al Heyman and Rodney Shields? But I mean, ultimately, he's still too he's too stiff. You can say what you want to say about Water. Water not stiff like F. N. Jabwe. You know, he, he may be he may be stiff in the shoulders, Water, but Water got a little bit more fluidity to him than F. N. Jabwe. F. N. was too stiff and he didn't want to take no chance. And for Sanchez, all Sanchez did was utilize lateral movement and go in and out in the first round sanchez was just sanchez was just waiting on him to uh sanchez wait was waiting on him to punch so he can counter that was sanchez game plan he uses his reflexes athletic ability and come over the top and hit him and that's what he did every time fa would get throw a punch he would counter him and move uh sanchez wanted um sanchez wanted fn jobway to create his offense and once he started countering F.A. and Jabwe, Jabwe packed it in. He didn't want to punch no more. So then we get a boring fight. And then we get a boring fight, man. And, I mean, that's what it was. You know, Jabwe, you know, just wanted to work off him. Then if Jabwe had to take the – I mean, not a Jabwe. Then Frank Sanchez wanted to work off him. And then F.A. and Jabwe had to – um F.A. and Jabwe, you know, he had to do something. And every time he punched, he got hit. And that's why he didn't want to hit. That's why he didn't want to, he didn't want to engage. He didn't know how to stop the uh he didn't know how to stop the, the counter punching. And the punches you don't see coming, them bitches hurt. And pretty much, you know, that was the fight. That was the fight. That was the fight. You know. That was the fight, and you know, it's Frank Sanchez. Could he have done more? Yeah, yeah. His speed and reflexes. Every time he punched F. N. Jabwe, went into a shell. He definitely could have did a lot more than what we've seen uh, from him. And that's a knock on Cubans. Cubans don't do don't do no more than they have to do, and no less. You know, they pedestrian. I mean, they're not pedestrian, but they just born. Frank Sanchez had the ability to end that in that fight, but he just didn't. The amateur style is embedded in them. I mean, really, really embedded in them. It's really, really embedded in him, man. So, um, you know, that's it. And, you know, ask me what, what a job he could have done is just jab more. That jab, even if it's a power jab, a flickering jab, that jab would have made Frank Sanchez think twice about coming in. And, you know, like Malik, scale, Malik Scott said last night, the water, hold the phone, keep your hand up. And I think that kind of would have, that kind of would have helped, but, uh, like I said before, just keep jabbing, and you just need it more than that right hand. You know, if you throw, if you throw it over the top, if you throw it under, you know, whatever. He needed more than that right hand, and he didn't have it. You know, he didn't have it, man. You know, for somebody that's stiff, he he's explosive still. He's explosive, um, but you know, 
I don't know, man. Sanchez, you know, how far can he go? He looked older than 29. He's probably like 39. Um, Honestly, man, I think Sanchez can be a player, man. Um, He more explosive than Luis Ortiz. I don't know if he, I don't know if he, uh, I don't know if he, uh, I don't know if he has the uh, the power, you know, but Sanchez would be a problem. I wouldn't put water in with Sanchez next, but, I mean, um, but ultimately, Sanchez is a problem. I think you put him right in the thick of things. Michael Hunter, I mean, Joe Joyce, uh, Du Bois keep winning. Uh, Anthony Joshua, Luis Ortiz, Andrew Ruiz, Tony Yoka, Philip Hargovich. He right there. And I don't think the heavyweight division has been so plentiful in the last 20, 18 years. I just don't think it hasn't. Frances, Frank Sanchez give us another player for this division, man. And uh, he got he got enough power for sure. I just want to know the activity there. But he could be world champion for sure. You know, him and Ortiz would be a good fight. I don't know if they'd fight each other, but you know, they'd be you'd be a good fight. But in job way, um, um, I don't know anything Coach K Karoma can do, bro. Even with Ronnie Shields, man. I think F.A. Jabway, you know, even though he tough, and even when he got hit with that uh, that DQ punch, it should have been a DQ. Even though he got hit, he got back up. Like, he got a chin. It's just that he too stiff. It's just, if you're going to be that stiff, you got to be, you know, you got to throw a lot of jabs and a lot of punches like Joe Joyce. He a little, he a more explosive than Joe Joyce. He, it can work. Get on his toes a little bit more. I mean, may, maybe if he should have left Sanchez come to him, I mean, and try to work off Sanchez, but it's a lot to learn. He just picked up boxing. Of course, he's gonna lose. He took a chance. He took a 50-50 fight, which it looked more like a 60-40 fight. Um, he took a chance. I can't knock him, but you know, something else gotta be there. Either he gotta learn to box on the back foot and make guys like Frank Sanchez come to him, or he gotta pick up that jab to for beginners. He gotta pick up that jab. So, had he picked up that jab, you know, Frank Sanchez wouldn't have been able to jump in. He, he would have jumped in. He ran right into that right hand. And that's boxing for you. You know, it is a sport of inches, but, you know, it's, it's, uh, you got to make those decisions. You got to make those decisions, man. You got to make quick decisions and quick adjustments. That's what I'm going to say. But, man, these niggas is, these niggas is dangerous. <laughs> Man, Frank Sanchez is dangerous. The division is on fire, bro. And you got a lot of, you got a lot of, uh, um, you have a lot of. Uh, hold on, let me pull it up. You got a lot of international flavor. You know what international flavor means too? Is that these motherfuckers ain't gonna be crying about money. They gonna they gonna take what they they gonna take what they can get. They not gonna sit here and do all that. Look at Martin, Chazor, Sanchez, Yoka. Somebody got to look out for some issues there with some uh, alleged pay use that he hadn't been caught. It's just Long story short, uh, Philip Hargovich, who might be the class, you can go watch him and Deontay Waterspar back in the day. Look it up. And Jaiway still a get a uh, ball, Hunter, Parker, Ortiz, Joyce, Ruiz. Why one last Wilder? When the last time you seen a guy Wilder and Joshua caliber and Ortiz caliber <laughs> and the boys caliber all contenders, bro? Like this division, Otto Wileen. I'm, I mean, this is Andy Ruiz. This is this is Usyk is a champion. Um, even though they haven't changed it yet, man, this is this division is on fire, man. It's gonna get nothing but better. You may not see these big fights like Fury and Water, but you're gonna see, you know, equally great fights in their own way. So let me know what you guys think, man. Thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. All um, my social media links description. Uh, you can find me on. T you can uh reach out anytime when I advertise video quest. Chop it up. Want to make a financial donation? Cash app CJ Good three one three Venmo CJ Good three one three. PayPal link in description. I do appreciate you guys for coming here. Check out the heavyweight fight reaction playlist.